How's it going, everybody? Welcome back. So today I wanted to quickly talk a little bit about the realistic timetable for learning Spanish and how long does it really take? Now, the answer is not a straightforward one, as it depends on a variety of factors such as your language learning experience, uh, time dedication and resources. However, I can provide you with maybe a realistic timetable to help you gauge your progress. Now, if you're looking to achieve conversational fluency, this will take about six to 12 months. And conversational fluency is the ability to hold a conversation in Spanish without excessive hesitation. This level of fluency can typically be reached again within six to 12 months of consistent practice and immersion. During this time, you should focus on expanding your vocabulary, mastering verb con conjugations and improving your pronunciation. Now, if you're looking for full fluency, that'll take about two to five years. And this will include the ability to understand and produce complex grammatical structures and speak with a native accent. Now, again, this could vary from one person to another, but it may take you two years. It may take you five years. It really all depends on how much you're willing to put into it, but it's important to continue practicing and immersing yourself in the language through speaking with native speakers, uh, reading Spanish literature, and engaging and cultural activities and also consuming uh, Spanish media or Spanish speaking media. So this is where LingoPi comes in. And I love LingoPi specifically because, well, let me go ahead and show you. So let's say I want to, you know, watch one of these shows. Let's just go ahead and click on here. And I want to just quickly demonstrate to you guys how this works. So if I go ahead and play the show, as you can tell, whenever I hover over one of these subtitles right here, first of all, I do have, uh, as you can tell, at my age, I'm in love. And that is just uh, translating whatever the uh, show is saying right here. This is a song in this case. I've got the entire script right here. Whenever I click one of these, it will just take me to that script. So let's just, um, you know, go up um, right here and it will take me to the uh, show up to the part where they were saying this. Again, if I go ahead and play it, I can just hover over anything. I can add all of these words in my collection so that I can take a look at them later. I can have the um, robot just say it to me. Um, I can say it myself. I can loop the subtitle itself so that, uh, or sentence rather, so that I can learn it more. I can adjust the speed. And again, I've got the entire script right here. I can try to, you know, say or play anything. Um, I can have it uh, auto pause every time uh, a subtitle. And at the same time, I'll be kind of immersing myself in the uh, language by listening to native speakers um, and understanding the culture a little bit more. I mean, all of these shows are carefully selected to have you understand the culture a little bit more. Um, you've got kids shows, you've got, you know, other shows that can be very, you know, either funny or dramatic or thrilling or whatever it is. Either way, they will all help you understand the culture a little bit more and understand the language, most importantly. Uh, and again, you've got music. Let's say I've collected a bunch of words from Against Our Destiny. I'll go back to review and practice and I'll have everything collected right here. And I can test myself by, uh, you know, playing one of these uh, quiz games in order to really understand uh, what the words that I've collected and make them stick. And if you click at make it stick right here, it does give you a very good point. So yeah, what they do with LingoPi right here is that they use TV show scenes to help you learn keywords and phrases faster. And a nice little trivia right here, they can actually start becoming conversational with only six to 700 words. Uh, so you can have a bit of an idea of when you reach about six to seven, 800 words, you should be able to at least, um, you know, get by at the very least. But there are some factors that affect learning speed. Again, it's important to keep in mind that timeline is just an estimate and your individual learning speed may vary. Now, some factors that can affect your Spanish learning journey include your prior experience with language learning, the amount of time you dedicate to practice and the resources and methods you use to learn. Regardless of your your starting level or language learning speed, the key to success is consistency. Make a daily habit of speaking, writing, and listening in Spanish or watching one of these shows. You know, you know, maybe you could just watch one episode a day if you don't have the time. And always seek out opportunities for immersion and practice with native speakers. And with patience, perseverance, and consistent effort, you'll be speaking Spanish fluently in no time. So to conclude, the timetable for learning Spanish depends on a variety of factors 
but with consistent effort and immersion, you can expect to reach conversational fluency between six and 12 months and full fluency within two to five years. And, you know, don't let the five years kind of deter you. Again, you may get the complete hang of the language in just two years or maybe even less, depending on how much time you put into it. Just stick with it. Practice daily and you'll be speaking Spanish like a pro in no time. And as far as one of the best websites or applications that you can use to help you learn Spanish, I found LingoPy to just be incredibly effective. I mean, it's very well known that if you're trying to learn a language and you do have a bunch of languages uh, at your disposal right here, consuming media of that language will help you a whole lot. And of course, because a lot of this media is carefully selected to kind of familiarize you with the culture a little bit more, this will just be a bonus so that you can be a little bit more familiar, especially if you're going to live in a Spanish speaking country. So that's pretty much it for this video. If you guys want to give LingoPy a try, you'll find a link in the description down below. There's a free trial link in the description down below. And if I happen to find any discount codes, I'll also make sure to link them in the description. Besides that, comment below if you have any questions. I'll be happy to answer all of them. Like and subscribe if you'd like to support the channel and stay up to date with future videos. Thank you guys very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Have a wonderful day.